Hey everybody, how's it going? It's a Daily Shooter and my last couple optics reviews have been affordable optics. Today we're going to be taking a look at something high-end and high quality. We're going to be taking a look at the Zeiss Conquest V4 6-24x50. Let's check it out. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started by first talking about some of the tech specs, details, and features of this scope right here. So again, you're looking at a 6 to 24 power scope with a 50 millimeter objective. This does have a 30 millimeter tube diameter, so if you're going to be shopping for scope rings, you're going to need the 30 millimeter rings. This thing is second focal plane, which is great for a lot of long distance shooting because second focal plane versus first focal plane. On a first focal plane, as you go through your magnification setting and you dial up to the higher settings, the reticle actually enlarges and you lose some of the edge of the reticle as you go up through that range. In second focal plane, the reticle stays exactly the same all the way through your range. So you're looking at the same reticle at six power that you are at 24 power. So it makes it really nice when you're shooting those longer ranges. Now, this scope is actually available with a couple different reticle options. Depending on what information you want to see as you look down the scope, there should be something that sort of fits your needs. Now, I'll put a link down in the comment section, not the description, the comment section, and I'll pin that to the top. So just go ahead and check the comments, click on that link. It'll take you directly to this scope over at opticsplanet.com. They're the ones that sent me the scope for review, and you can check out the different reticle options for yourself. They also have illuminated and non-illuminated, so there's definitely a couple things worth looking at. Now, especially on a high-end optic like like this it does help to use my discount code TDS5 that will save you some money at checkout and I believe at the time of this video that'll save you over 50 bucks on this scope right here now this one right here has the type 93 reticle which is illuminated I do love an illuminated reticle especially when it just starts to get dark outside you turn that on and you are good to go you can just see the contrast against your target so it's an MOA reticle nice MOA hash marks illuminated and this thing has 100 MOA of travel, which is great because a lot of the scopes that I've been testing lately have anywhere between 60 M MOA and 90 MOA. And that's total. So people might think it's 90 MOA up and 90 MOA down. No, this has a total of 100 MOA of travel, meaning 50 down and 50 up. So make sure when you see total MOA of travel in a scope, you cut that in half because it's an up and down total. So still, MOA reticle, very nice. Second focal plane, illuminated with red. And I should mention, this is the first full-size scope that I've had with an illuminated reticle that is actually visible during the day. It has 10 different brightness settings. And on that 10th setting, which is the highest, even in the desert, I can see the illuminated red reticle out in front of me. I have a window out in front of me right now. I can look at the dirt and you can still see the illumination on it. It's absolutely incredible. It's a really nice bright reticle when you need it. So uh, pretty cool, second focal plane, definitely uh, plenty of magnification with six to 24 power. Now this does have a type three hard anodized coating on top of a high grade aluminum body very nice glass and it has a six layer coating on the glass so that's going to help with your color it's going to help with your transparency the light transmission and, and scratch resistance uh, it's got a lot to offer what's interesting about this one is it has an exposed turret on the top one quarter moa clicks but the side turret for your windage is actually capped so it has uh, kind of a small cap, easy to take on and off, and kind of a small turret on the side. So your windage is adjusted right here, while your elevation has a nice, almost like a tactical type knob on the top. Your parallax adjustment, I'll just leave that off. Your parallax adjustment is gonna be on the side. The parallax adjustment is a little bit hard to turn. That was one of the only downsides or you know, kind of negative things I have to say about this scope is that the parallax is a little bit hard to adjust. On top of the parallax is where your illumination settings are, and that's where the CR2032 battery is housed. So this does take a CR2032 battery. Again, illumination, and then behind that is going to be your parallax everywhere from 50 yards out to infinity. 
Now, if I haven't mentioned it before, this scope has 3.5 inches of eye relief, which to me is right in that sweet spot. I like to have about 3.5 to 4 inches of eye relief, especially on a scope where I'm going to be reaching out and I might want to shoot prone, standing up or on a table and just kind of maybe change my position. I want to be able to move my eye and having 3.5 inches of eye relief is great. And it's also very forgiving. So when you are zoomed in all the way to 24 power, you don't have a huge gray circle that you're constantly having to fight with. You have a pretty good amount of eye relief and then at the same time the eye box is pretty large and you don't have to fight to get that reticle right in that perfect position. It's really easy to use which is great because it allows you to get on target really fast. So that's great. Now this also weighs just over 24 ounces and I believe it's somewhere around 14 inches long. So uh, a pretty good little optic as far as those stats are concerned. That's pretty standard. Okay, now that we've gone over some of the tech specs, details, and features, let me give you guys my own personal thoughts and opinions on this scope. Uh, I've had a chance to use it for several months now. You guys have probably seen it in a bunch of videos and didn't notice. It was most recently in a backpack body armor video that I did where I was shooting some uh, body armor uh, with the 308, which is what this is mounted on right now. And I gotta say, I am really, really impressed with this scope. Now, over the past five and a half years here on YouTube, I've been pretty fortunate. I've been able to review scopes that cost everywhere from $40 to $100, $400, thousands of dollars, and so forth, and kind of everything in between. So I know exactly what I wanna see, I know exactly what to look for, and I know what the differences are between those scopes and higher end scopes like this. The biggest difference that you're gonna see in those scopes is the quality of the materials that is used. And that kind of translates into one of the biggest things that you'll notice as you use the scope, which is optical clarity. That's where you're gonna see your biggest performance change. So on a scope that might cost, let's say anywhere from $100 to $400, and this isn't always the case, but it's the case a majority of the time, you're gonna see that the optical clarity is definitely not gonna be as good as a scope like this. This thing is really, really clear, especially as you dial up the, the magnification all the way up to 24 power. A lot of scopes that are of lesser quality, they'll tend to lose a lot of color and a lot of light transmission as you get out to those ranges. So you'll notice that your target or whatever you're looking at will become more and more gray. So you'll see that that color starts to kind of disappear and it looks a little bit more gray and it's kind of hard to distinguish a lot of the different elements that are around it because they're all sort of monotone. But with a scope like this with really high-end glass and Zeiss makes some inc incredible glass. For instance, the camera that I'm using right now to film this on actually has a Zeiss lens. Zeiss is the lens that I choose. It is a 4K camera, which I typically upload in 1080p just for processing time, but it's a 4K camera and that lens has to be nice to be 4K. And so Zeiss, Zeiss makes some really good stuff. So you have a nice clear lens that allows great lines, light transmission, but you also have really nice optical coatings which help with that transmission and they also help with color. And they kind of just help that, they, they help get the correct picture back to your eye. And to me, that's the biggest difference between a lot of the budget scopes or even more affordable scopes and some of the high end, just optical clarity, lack of distortion. One thing that you'll see also in some other scopes is uh, distortion around the edge. So all you have to do is pick up your scope, take a look at something that's uh, kind of out there and look around the edges of your scope. It should look like the center of your scope. There shouldn't be any distortion. But on some scopes, as you get closer and closer to the edge, you'll see that if you put it, let's say by a telephone pole or something, you'll see that the telephone pole will start to bow out. You don't get that at all with this scope. The optical clarity is perfect and the edge is zero distortion. So that was one of the things that I liked about it as well. Then again, I think another thing that I kind of touched on earlier is the illumination. I've never had a scope like this where the illumination set on its highest setting is actually visible during the day when I'm shooting at my target, which is great because if I'm shooting at a target that's kind of darker and I want some contrast, all I have to do is put on that illumination, put it at its highest setting, and I can actually see it during the day. So that's another nice part of the scope. Great glass, great clarity, excellent color, great zoom, very nice MOE reticle, plenty of adjustment at 100 MOA. This uh, mount right here is actually a 20 MOA base. So that gives me a little bit extra elevation if I'm gonna be shooting further, like a thousand yards or more, but I don't have the ability to do that right now. So a little bit past 600 yards is kind of where I'm stuck at. Nonetheless, plenty of travel to be able to use your turrets or holdover, that's what you wanna use.
Now, if I'm being perfectly honest, I didn't even know Zeiss made rifle scopes until about four months ago, so I wasn't exactly sure what to expect. You know, I know the scope is, uh, at the time of this video, remember prices do change. At the time of this video, it's around $1,000. So I had uh, high hopes for a $1,000 scope that it would give me $1,000 performance or better, and I am really impressed overall with it. So I definitely think for those people that really wanna get serious into your shooting, you wanna get serious into long range, you know, you want something that works and something that works well, something that's gonna last you a long time, that's waterproof, shockproof, fogproof, and offers you all the features that you're really looking for. Uh, I definitely think that this is something worth checking out. I know a lot of people are going to ask, what rifle is this? This is a Savage Model 110 FCP Tactical, but I have it in an MDT LSS XL Gen 2 rifle chassis. Just putting it in this chassis, which is uh, hard aluminum, and bedding it to this basically means that I get even better performance out of this rifle, and that's where I'm able to get that accuracy from. So uh, anyway, back to the scope. I got to say, if you're interested in a really good scope, definitely check it out. This is, again, the Zeiss Conquest v4 6 to 24 by 50 millimeter scope with the type 93 reticle which is illuminated thank you all very much for watching i really do appreciate it please like subscribe have a great day